First, we're gonna open up the menu and we're gonna scroll down all the way to network. From there, we're gonna click on transfer and remote and PC remote connection. We're gonna turn it off because some of the settings get disabled when we do that. And we're gonna be left with three options, which is USB, which we're not gonna go over in this tutorial. We have Wi-Fi direct, where you can connect your camera directly to your computer or your laptop. And we also have Wi-Fi access point, which connects your camera directly to the Wi-Fi around you. So if you have your camera and your laptop connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then you can transfer files directly from there. And if you have a fast internet connection, that's the one I would recommend. Otherwise, if you don't have any Wi-Fi around, go with the Wi-Fi Direct. So let's go over Wi-Fi Direct first. First we have to turn it on on the PC remote setting and then we can go down to Wi-Fi Direct Info and this is the setting you have to log into on your laptop. So go to your laptop, go to the Wi-Fi section, connect to the Direct whatever numbers it is and now put in the password and that way you can connect directly onto your camera from your laptop. The Wi-Fi access point, we're going to keep it off and we're actually going to back off and go to Wi-Fi. From there, go to access point set and it's going to search for different Wi-Fi connections that are around you. So find your main one, Yak Network 5G is the one I use for my house. And then you just connect to it, put the password in it. And then I already connected it, so it's not giving me the option, but that's it. Now you're set from your camera. Now on your computer, we're gonna need the Imaging Edge software. So just go to the website, I'll have a link for it in the description. Download the software, either Windows or Mac, depending on what you use. And then we're gonna open up the software and we're gonna click on Remotes. After we do that, then it should, this menu should pop up. Just give it a second. Right here, we're gonna have this menu pop up and your camera should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, then click Refresh and then just double click on it and then it should connect to your camera. When it does connect, then you have a live feed to your camera. So as you can see, I'm moving the camera around. It's giving me a live feed. And from here, I can change all the settings. I can change the shutter speed. If I want to take a picture from here, I can even autofocus and I can change whatever format I want to shoot with. After you take a picture, then the picture just pops up right on wherever you set the destination on the computer.